These days are feeling cold, but my heart is feeling colder Seems like everybody grows apart when they get older If I started drinking, I think I'd be hardly sober Tips on my shoulders are turning out to be boulders I'm trying to keep my composure and they're like, why are you changing? This ain't how you started Don't tell me you're broke, I wanna hear you broken hearted Talk about the stars, man, don't tell me you're starving I wanna hear about a girl who broke you down and departed Man, I've been done with it, what I feel I run with it Always real, I come with it, know that you in love with it So listen up Heart breaks give you breaks for the heart Cause it's hard to be together when it's falling apart And I ain't trying to write it down when I don't know where to start They want me to pick at these scars to give them light in the dark And it's killing me reliving all these moments aside And I've been building up aggression on the mic and she's like hey. All right, welcome to episode three of Road Back to 500. Now, before I start talking about my squats this week, I have to give a huge, huge shout out to my family, my wife and my child. They absolutely shocked me this last weekend. I had a client who was competing up in Tallahassee and I was planning on just making the drive, being there for them and coming back. It's a four and a half hour trip each way. And I knew it was gonna be a long day, but you know, I just, I really wanted to be there for him. And you know, we've been through a lot together and it just, I was really excited to be there with him. Well, the, the day before, that Friday night, I went out to dinner with my family and my wife decided that she really wanted to come with. So we, we went to the store, we got a bunch of snacks, we, we booked a hotel at the last second and they came with and it just meant the world to me that you know, they would want to spend that time with me, be there to support me and my client, my business and just be there for me and be there with me. And it just really means a lot to me. I know a lot of people wouldn't do that. And it just, it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, Teresa, I love you so much. And Cy. Um, as for my client, Shane, I, I was just so proud of him for this meet because, you know, numbers wise, he didn't do that great, all right? It, it wasn't the best meet ever. He got really sick right before the meet, like extremely sick. I mean, he literally went through like two boxes of Kleenex and three rolls of toilet paper, blowing his nose like every minute biggest fear of the whole meet was like shooting snot all over the place while I was trying to lift but it's just it was one of these things like so many people would be so upset that they they couldn't do what they were thought that they'd be able to do you know that that they underperformed based on on their training and you know what like he just took everything in stride you know we backed off numbers considerably just because we knew he didn't have it that day which I mean that's a tip for all you guys out there like don't just go into a meet being stubborn and saying I need to hit these numbers because that's what I'm capable of take what's there on meet day but anyway even though he missed some lifts and we had to knock some things back because he just got absolutely smoked by the end of the meet, you know, he still qualified for nationals, which is the number one goal. And he was just, he was so happy and proud that he accomplished that, even though he totaled like 70 pounds less than what I had on his sheet going into the meet. I mean, that's just amazing. Not many people have that attitude and that mindset. So I'm just really proud of you, Shane, for doing that. And you know, it was a great experience. It was fun to be there. My friend George was there, which I was not expecting. He had a client that was competing as well. So I got to spend some time with him. We went out for dinner afterwards and, and had some fun. And it was just really good experience. Now, I just finished my last warm up for my squats today. I'm gonna go hit my sets and then I will come check back in and talk about how it went and how things are going during this week. All right, finished up squats. It went okay. Um, didn't feel the greatest, but 
you know, looking back on the video, they actually didn't feel too bad. So today is my kind of back off percentage day. So I did five sets of doubles at 391. I used micro plates. And, uh, you know, it went okay. I got, I got a little too wide on one set. I actually recorded it so I can show you. My third set, I got wide. I, I felt it just didn't feel good. I could feel some knee vulgus. It just, it just didn't feel good. So the next set, I corrected that, got my knees, or excuse me, got my feet in a little bit and it felt much better, looked much smoother. Um, but yeah, this, this is my second day of squatting for the week. I didn't get any footage of the first day because I actually trained at my other gym, which is much closer. I actually drive, if you didn't know, I, I, I make quite a drive to get to Powerhouse. It's usually 45 minutes to get here and about an hour with traffic getting back. And uh, you know, some people think I'm a little bit crazier for that, but it's worth it to me. Like I just, the atmosphere around here is great. Like it's really hard to find a good gym that you can do actual powerlifting in without being like, frowned upon you know what I mean like it's just one of those things where gym environment is very important to me and I just I like the environment around here so anyway I didn't get footage on my first day where I did low bar a 3x6 at 355 so that actually had my legs a little bit sore a little bit tired today which probably factored in a little bit into the performance but it wasn't anything terrible I mean it should be easier than it was but it's all good you know as I as I increase my squat frequency here things are gonna be a little bit difficult for a little bit and uh, you just gotta push through it. You know, I was talking about this on one of my other videos about, you know, how I was really tired, fatigued, and you know, everyone always says, whenever you get fatigued, everyone always says, we need to back off, you need to back off, you need to deload. Well, that's just, that's not always the case. And in this case, I just, that really didn't feel like that was gonna be a good decision for me. You know, the, the repeated boat effect is very real and it has to take its place. So if you increase your frequency, if you increase your stimulus and your demand on your body, and you back off every single time that it gets tired, you're never gonna adapt to that new training stimulus. You're never going to get to a point where you actually do feel better and you actually do recover quicker. So you gotta keep that in mind. Like, deloads are important. They absolutely have their place. They need to be done, but it's not always going to be the answer, especially if you made significant changes to your training plan, all right? Sometimes you gotta get through that little initial period. So anyway, squats went all right today and I'm about to go bench with my buddy Reggie again and then I will check back in on Friday and I believe I have fours at, uh, I believe the same weight actually. <laughs> so, should be interesting. What's up guys? I am here with my friends, Paul and Patrice. We just got back from IHOP, got some pre-workout in. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ready to hit some squats. And we'll see how it goes. I feel a lot better today. So I'm like, I swear I'm like schizophrenic or I don't know what. I'm just all up and down right now. Pancake but gains. I made some pancake gains today, so hopefully squats will go well. I got this new shirt from my man Paul. Wait for four days, you like it? GoPhysique.com, you can get your own, and I will check in after my squats. I felt a little heavy, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, but, yeah. Yes. What is that, like 396 and a quarter? 391. <laughs> Actually, it's technically 392. These are a half pound each. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I might have to do a little uh, pump up music today because this is just not feeling very good. But, sorry. It's also like 8,000 degrees in here today, so. That definitely doesn't help. <laughs> we'll get her done. Oh! Whoa! 
All right, so I have done all my squats on my bench in two or three sets of my deadlift, and I'm pretty smoked. I am absolutely destroyed. It was much more difficult than I thought I was going to be today. I just did not have the energy. As I mentioned, the repeat about effect has got to kick in, and I am just dying right now. And uh, you know, one of the cool things is bench. When you know, it didn't move very well, but I did 300 pounds for sets of two, like 300 pounds for doubles for my working weight. Like that's awesome. So I gotta appreciate that I've made progress, and even though I'm not feeling very good, like I'm still moving like PRs for me. I'm pretty positive I've never done 300 for doubles outside of an AMRAP maybe. But uh, so that's pretty cool. And then deadlifts, it's just like grind, like it's tough. But again, there's encouraging things because in the past. Whenever I got to deadlifts and I was smoked like this, like I would just, I'd get, I, I would fold up and I would get cashed. Like I would, I wouldn't be able to pull off the ground. I would just, I wouldn't be able to do it. And I've gotten to a point now where, even when I'm really smoked, I seem to be able to still complete the lift now. Like, and I think that's mostly just a testament to my improved technique over the years now. Um, but hey, I got one more set to go, so we'll see how it goes. If I can somehow manage to get both of these up, that'll say a lot. So I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm gonna get my favorite Psych Up song going. I'm gonna give it everything I got and try not to die. So wish me luck. I will play it out regardless of how it goes. And then I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. That was fine.